What's up? What's up? Good morning, guys. Welcome to DraftKings GFS and Segment segments for March the 9th, 2019. I go by Invisible GFS. We're gonna go ahead and jump to segment one and see how the players did the night before. All right, guys. Uh, Sadowinski 34.25. Payton 32, Randall 37.75. I had to replace Davis, so I replaced him with Randall. Uh, that wasn't good. 37.75, 4.6x. I'm looking at least. I was hoping he got 50 because he was basically the only guy. Well, of course, uh, Harris was really bad. I mean, the worst thing about this pick is. Initially, when I do the uh, my five players, I had Marvin Williams in there, and I went away from Williams and went with Harris, and that's basically end up killing that team. And Juan had a uh, 7.1x, that was really great. The total was 175.25 for those five players, and my other two players, Carter Walker. The tomb and Walker was bad with 37. He basically didn't do anything in the fourth quarter. The total for that team was 275, 279.75, and didn't cash. So let's go ahead and jump to segment two, guys, and see how the five players that I have for you guys that have a price differences of 1k or more between the two sides. The five players are Towns, a 1.2k difference. Lillard, 1.5k difference. Nurkic, 2k difference. That's a big difference. So most likely, when you see it, all those are probably big because you have Macallum, almost a 1.9k difference, and Harkless, a 1.8k difference. I like all those guys in both sides so just because I like them that doesn't mean I'm gonna use them but I like them one guy for sure I know I'm gonna use is Nurkic and Markelon because of the prices all right guys so let's go ahead and jump to what I call the main ingredient of the show where I'm gonna give you guys my five players consists of three core players one cheap play and of course the star of the segment It's very late. It's already five in the morning, guys, and you can hear that voice, um, the timing voice. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, the first score player for you guys. I'm going back to a uh, player I played last night. That's Satwenski. I'm going back to him, why not? It's playing against Minnesota. I expect him to play about the same minute as last night. And I expect him to at least get to 34 again. So uh, Sadowinski will be my first core player. And as far as my second core, guys, I'm staying with that game and play the opposite point guard on that team. And that will be Tig. Tig will be my second core player. The minutes are there for Tig. He will get you 30 minutes. And I'm hoping he can outscore Sadowinski in there. So if Sadowinski can get me anywhere close to 40, I want Tig to get close to that uh, because his price is a little bit higher. So I want him to score the most out of the two. So, but Tig gonna be there, you know. Uh, I think if Towns had a better game, Tig would have a better game too. So a lot of time, you know, you know, it's kind of like, you know, a if I can pass you the ball, you keep missing shots, you're gonna kind of mess up my assist. Man. And Tig, you know, he can score. Uh, sometimes, you know, he just have to go ahead and uh, drive more because he's a guy that can drive uh, not at will like 
walls, but he can drive. And Tig is, uh, if you remember, he's a pretty fast guard too. So Tig will be my second core player. As far as my third core player, guys, I'm going to go with Al Offord. Offord will be my third core player uh, against the Lakers. He should be able to destroy that front court. Uh, especially right now, the, the case for some reason don't want to play any real centers in the middle. They're going small for what? It's like, why mess up what gets you there in the fourth seat before the ones get hurt? You change everything and mess up the whole thing. So, offward is basically the second guy there for. Boston, the second one guy for Boston. I expect him to be front, up front, and doing everything they can to destroy that team. And Boston, you know, especially they got the agenda against each other because both of them trying to go with Davis. So uh, Boston would be my, I mean, Offord would be my third core play. And as far as my chief play, guys, I'm gonna go with points. I had points last time he played too, but the problem is he wouldn't get kicked out of the game. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. So points is back. He's, I know he missed two games prior to that last game, but it wasn't because he was hurt. It's just that he was having a baby. So he's good to go. Uh, so I'm expecting him. Hopefully he can get us in the 30s, 20 points for that twice. And I'm going for Lillard, Damian Lillard for my star of the segment, Dame Dollar, he will be my star, I'm going to put him in the PG here, and then of course put uh, Sadowinski, I mean with that price, why not, 8.8, I know it was 8.1, his price went up 700k, but that's still not enough for a player of the caliber like Damian Lillard. The guy basically is the main scorer of the team, is the top assist guy on the team. So, he, he, he's, you know, if he gets you 30 points and 10 assists, so that's why he will everything else should probably get you there as far as 6x. So, uh, that's what I'm always looking for, but always look hoping for more. So, Lillard is my player my star player of the segment so guys let's go ahead and jump to uh segment four and check out the these of the cheap plays jeff green uh i didn't put anything there forgot to put something there uh as far as jeff green guys he's starting still playing in the 20s and even sometimes till he's in the minutes and i know lately he hasn't been as good as he was before the trade but he's a five game slate and out of nowhere jeff green is the type of player that capable of giving you anything between 30s 40s and fantasy points um points i already talk about him he's my cheap play i like him uh, as long as he stay away from trying to get in the fight or getting ejected uh, morris he was in a slump and finally had a great game in his last time he won. So hopefully he's back playing his uh, 30s in minutes, getting some rebounds, hitting some threes, and just be himself. He was he averaged 20 averages 28.5 minutes in the last two games, including having a big game two games ago. Harkless uh, finally had a bad game. Uh, it's that's like the bad game in a while because he was balling before that last game so i expect him to be better especially he's playing the right team to get back and try i mean no, still playing enough minutes to help your team as a cheap player and sarge that's gotta be it guys that's gotta be the team where sarge went over 30 fantasy points if he doesn't i don't know man it's like you have all this you have an opportunity now to secure the starting 
portion of I mean the starting power for for the, for that team and then you know taking advantage of it you know so step up and do it man I don't know it's sophomore slump you know there's a lot of sophomore right now that's playing really great but you it's like you're declining so Sarge will be a guy I'm gonna use and I'm with the hope that he's gonna have his one of his best game since he's been over there that's it guys good luck i appreciate you guys please like and subscribe and turn on your notification in case i need to get back and change something and a quick note uh, march will be a very busy day month for me because i'm doing so many things so hopefully i can hopefully i will be able to put a video out every day because that's the plan as of right now i'm out guys Oh, as always, don't go out and send money that you guys cannot afford to do. I'm out. <laughs>